Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MySQL 9.1 on Windows servers. First open any web browser, then go to MySQL official website that is mysql.com. Then click on downloads, then scroll down, click on MySQL community downloads, click on MySQL community server, then see here we have the 9.1, 8.4 and 8.0.40 okay so we are going to download this 9.1 so click on this download button it will download the 9.1 msi file click on download click on no thanks just start my download see download has been started and its size is 118 megabytes wait until download completes go to downloads folder See download is completed. Now go to downloads folder. Double click on this MySQL exe file. Click on next. Select I accept the terms in the license agreement and click on next. See here we have the three types typical, custom, and complete. Let us click on custom. See here we have these options. Okay, so click on complete, click on install. Keep the checkbox that is run MySQL configurator and click on finish. Click on next. See this is the data directory if you want to change you have to click on this browse button. Otherwise click on next. See the default port for the MySQL is 3306. So click on next. Here provide the password for MySQL root user. If you want to create new user, you have to click on add user. Otherwise, click on next. This is the service name in services application. Click on next. And this is the account for the this MySQL service. So click on next. Set grant full access. Then click on next. If you want to create this sample databases, you have to select these two check boxes. Otherwise, uncheck it and click on next see this is the summary click on execute we are okay with all the settings See configuration applied successfully. Click on next. If you want to see the log, you have to click on here. Copy log to clipboard. Otherwise, click on finish. We have successfully installed MySQL 9.1. Let us go to start. See here we have the MySQL folder and see here we have the MySQL command line client. Click on it. Provide the password for the root account that we have given. We have installed MySQL 9.10. Verify databases. Show databases. See, these are the list of the default databases comes with installation of MySQL. And this cycle and all are the sample databases. Let us verify list of users. Show users. It won't work. We have to run select user from MySQL dot user. See, these are the default users comes with the installation of mysql now create a database create create database let me increase the font database r to scopes put semicolon at the end of the statement now verify databases so databases see here new databases to switch to this database we have to run the command use database 
now show tables see you don't have any tables in this art schools so let us create a table create table now verify show tables see new table is there insert data into this table insert one more row with the same s number see we got the duplicate entry for the student primary key because why because here s number column has primary key if we define a column with primary key it won't allow duplicate values so we have to give unique values for the primary key columns now verify the data see we have three rows if you give star it retrieved all the columns but if you want particular columns you like s name s name from student select s name from student okay now okay until now we have performed actions on mysql command line client but we can connect to mysql from the mysql workbench or db work those two are the GUI tools for the MySQL. Install MySQL Workbench. MySQL.com. Go to the same site. Click on Downloads. Click on MySQL Community Downloads. See here we have the MySQL Workbench. Click on it. Select the Windows and select the Download the MSFL. Click on Download. No thank. Just start Download. See Download started. See Download is completed. Click on Open File. Click, click on next see this is the installation directory click on next complete select complete then click on next install for my for db or installation you can go through the my youtube channel there you can find the how to install db or on windows select this checkbox that is launch mysql workbench now and click on finish it will open the mysql workbench see here it is open see by default it has connected localhost or you go to right click edit connection see here see it connected localhost port number this one then click on close now it will ask the password if you click on it see we have to provide the password for the root account so provide password that we have given then click on ok continue anyway let us maximize click on schemas see here we have the databases if you want to create a new database right click create schema schema or database same ok click on create schema then provide the name or to admin then click on apply click on apply again close this window it is already created see here or to admin is there even if you go to mysql command line client show databases see new database auto, auto admin is there last step we will see how to stop start and restart mysql service on windows services.msc press m see here we have the mysql 91 ok if you want to restart right click click on restart if you want to stop select stop yeah, or just select the service and see here we have the stop restart and stop restart options so in this video we have seen how to Install and configure MySQL 9.1 on Windows Server 2022. But the process is same on all Windows operating systems. For more MySQL tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.